In today's video, I'm going to show you how to beat man coverage in Madden NFL 20. What's up guys, my name is Cody and I want to welcome you to my YouTube channel. My YouTube channel is designed to help you get better at Madden. So if you're new, what I want to recommend is you watch the video all the way through. If this video helps you, go over to the channel, check out some more of my Madden 20 content. And also, if you want to connect with me personally and some of the people from our community, go ahead and join our Discord server. The link is in the comments. That's a way where you can get your questions answered and we can talk Madden all day long in that Discord server. All right, guys, so Man Beater from the Arizona Cardinals Offensive Playbook. I like to go to the gun cluster or the cluster strong and the play that I'm going to run is you can either run mesh, you can run mesh post, you can run any real play from here but the audibles I'm going to recommend you have are mesh, mesh post, verticals, and Z spot shake. That's to me going to be your best setup. Remember your best wide receiver goes on the right side. Your fastest wide receiver goes on the left side. And then your slot receiver is another fast receiver if you can have one. Okay. So the first play and the foundational play to beat man to man coverage. If you're just trying to beat man to man coverage is Z spot shake. Okay. So let's jump in and I'm just going to use a basic dime one, four, six, and I'm going to show you um, what I believe to be one of the better man coverages. Let's go just to uh, cover two man if I can find it here. Let's see. There it is. So cover two man. And if it's a good man coverage, they're going to man align and press it. Right? That's how they're going to run it. So basically the setup here is pretty simple. All you're going to do is you're going to take Charles Clay. You can either put him on a hitch route or you can put him on a drag. I like to block the running back. And then I like to slide protect opposite of the running back and ID the guy that I think is going to come in on the side of the running back. So right here, you see that? All right. And at the step of the ball, I'm going to motion bird out. And you'll see that his route, when he cuts to the outside, he's going to be able to beat man-to-man -man coverage very easily. Okay. Again, this is going to be a mismatch because more than likely, you know, if they have all 99 corners, you know, then he may they may do a little bit better of a job. But, but... Um, it will work. One of the other things I was actually going to recommend, actually what I would say real quick here your, for your tight end, go ahead and put him on a zig route. And the reason is, I'll come I'll come back to that in just a minute, but that's going to be your second read. So I'm going to look, if Bird's covered, you'll see that zig route is going to be able to beat, beat most man-to-man -man coverages. You can also, like I said, you can also put him on a hitch route. He got, he got a little bump there for some reason, but let's set that up again. But you'll see he's kind of misaligned. They're not. He's not going to get pressed. That's what's. That's what's really good. It's that little blitz angle that's messing it up. So let me get that blitz out of there. From cover two man. Uh, let me flip the play. There you go. Now this should work. This should work. Because the reality is they're not going to blitz that guy. They're going to user him. So motion out and now you'll see once that zig gets off the line of scrimmage as you can see it's a really easy easy way to beat main coverage so you can do a lot of different things with the tight end i think that's most people don't run enough zigs in this year's game most people don't run enough zigs in this year's game so but again if you don't want to run a zig throw him on a throw him on a drag and you'll see he beats everything so if i throw him on a drag that blitz is really messing him up but if i throw him on a drag he should get open obviously he didn't because of that blitz angle but You'll also see here, if I throw him on a hitch route, so snap the ball, go, he's just going to sit right there, and you see it's a real tender spot on the defense. It's really a, a shorter hitch route than most hitch routes. So you could do that. You can do a lot of different things with the tight end, but basically any of those hot routes for him, what, the one that I like the most is the drag or the zig. Okay? So your third read on this is going to be that post or that corner route to the left side of the field. As you can see, that corner route will beat man-to-man. -man. And as you can see, they press. So man line press, right? They're running a the basic press defense. But you see, because of the compression set of the formation, it's going to cause a little bit of an issue. And so he's going to get off that press. He's going to cut to the left. And as you can see, he's going to be able to beat his man. But what I would recommend with this offense is that you have four good receivers or three receivers and one good tight end because – you're, it's basically going to come down to route running, how well they run route. And you see, if they press, if they don't press, they're not going to have. This is not even going to be an issue. You'll see here. Here, it's just a base cover two man, and you can see there's there's no there's no issue beating that defense. Okay, so that's that route. The last route that I want to show you on this specific play is the route to Larry Fitzgerald. Now this is kind of a check down route, and you'll see it just shakes. 
and it's really, really good to beat man-to-man -man coverage, right? Really, really good to beat man-to-man -man coverage. One of the things also, um, if you take a look here at what the defense is going to be able to do, the tight end from a compression set, you got two unbumpables. You got your tight end, and then you got bird. So if I motion bird out, and if they get catch those two, right, that shake, as you see, is going to become cut wide open over the middle of the field. So, again, this is a really, really good specific man-beating route. Now, if you wanted to put your running back on something, let's just say you wanted to, you really wanted to put your running back on something, I would recommend a streak. And the reason I would make it, recommend a streak is basically for a zone read. So, like, if they're if they're in zone coverage right, and they just catch you off guard, that streak's going to pull a lot of zones, and then that circle, um, that circle route to um, or that shake route to Fitzgerald is going to be able to come underneath the defense. So let me show you right here. But basically, he's going to shake, get loose, and you see how he's going to cross right at, right underneath that. So if they go, if they go to example, if if they catch you off guard, right, and you're in a cover, and they're in like a cover two sink, right, because that's going to take, a, that's going to give the corner rats a little bit of trouble if they're in like a cover two Tampa two style defense. You can throw. Whoops, Kyler Murray rolled out across his body. But let me show you something like this, and then they'll set their pressure up. Why wouldn't they? But if they go to like a max coverage version of it, let me show you this right here. This defense is what I want to show you. So if they go to some kind of max coverage, max coverage version of the defense here, and you're kind of setting up to beat man to man, you're going to see up oh, everything's open up 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 up. But you see that shake route is going to that shake route is going to be very effective over the middle of the field as well. So I'd put the running back on a streak, but really, honestly, if I was you, I would block him, right? And then just ID the mic. I think that works the best from this formation. This formation does have a little bit of an issue with pass protection, but um, if you if you do some good sliding and IDing of the mic, it's going to work out well for you. All right, so the next play that I want to talk about as far as beating the blitz, this is verticals. This is kind of the play that you're going to go to um, off of that. Okay, this is kind of the play that you're going to go to more of a deeper based. If they're running, um, you know, once they start clamping down on the corner route, then you could go to something like this verticals. And basically what you want to do with this, you want to leave Christian Kirk on his route. You want to leave Bird on his route. You really want to leave Johnson on his route if you can. And then what I like to do is I like to take Charles Clay and put him on a hitch route. And then I take Larry Fitzgerald and motion him out. And you'll see at the snap of the ball, he's going to cut up. And as soon as he cuts up, he's going to beat man-to-man. -man. Oh, wow. As I throw an interception. Normally, he's going to beat man-to-man. -man. <laughs> Let's see if we can't get this to work. Um, and again, you could put you could put your tight end on anything, right? You could drag him if you want to. But I like to hitch him just just so that I have two, two key compression items right there. And I like where that hitch sits. There you see there's the route. That's going to be able to beat man-to-man -man coverage. Then the other thing that you're going to be able to do is if they come in man-to-man, -man, and this is actually a little bit more of a zone complement to what you're already running, but if they if they go with some some other some press man right and say they maybe user that, you see you can low pass lead the hitch route. And again, you can also put the tight end on a zig. You can put the tight end on a streak. You could do a lot of different things with the tight end. I like the hitch if you're going to block the running back. If you're not going to block the running back, then what you, you could just leave the tight end on his base route here. And let me show you what it does against man-to-man. -man. So snap of the ball. He's going to cut to the inside. You can cut that off. But most of the time, they'll have a user in the in the in the area. But again, you can do that. That is an option. So if I snap the ball, you see he's going to cut to the inside, and you can inside pass lead and click on and possession catch against man-to-man -man coverage. The other thing that you can do with this, though, is let me show you in a, in a base, in a press type of situation. You run that tight end on a zig, and what that's going to do is it's going to help against cover two a little bit, right, if they go to cover two, but you see it's going to roast man-to-man. -man. That's why I like the zig route. The zig route to me is one of the best man reading routes, no matter what the formation. You just throw more zigs, and you'll have you'll be a lot better against man-to-man -man coverage. So again, I can go with the zig, and then I could take my Larry Fitzgerald, motion him out to the right, and then if neither of those are open, I can 
I can try to fit that crossing route in. As you can see, that crossing route is going to be better against like a zone. So like if they go, if they catch you off guard, right, and they go cover to sink, that's that's what and that's why we want to kind of have some contingencies in case they catch us off guard, right? We have two good routes against man, Fitzgerald and Clay, and then we also have stuff on the left side. But you'll look at this fade. Um, you have to get out of the pocket, but you can throw this corner route or this uh, crossing route really effectively against cover two defenses. So again, that's a little bit about the cluster. The last two plays are mesh and mesh post. You can run either one that you want. I like the mesh personally. I think that's the better one. And then what I like to do with bird is I like to take him and you can do a variety of different things with him. But one of the things that I find to be most effective is to just streak him right up the seams and if they and the and the reason is for like a cover zero type of scenario, and you can play around with the motion a little bit. You can motion to the left and get a little motion snap, but the drags are going to beat man to man coverage. That's why I love the mesh this year because the drags are going to beat men and they're also going to beat zone. When what that's going to force is it's going to force your opponent, and then you have these user routes. Like right? so, literally, what you could do with this, and I do this a lot. I'll just max protect the mesh. And you see you've got that corner route, and then you've got those two underneath routes. It's very, very effective. And then one other thing that you can do is, like, if you go if you go to, if you go to the play mesh post, the wheel route to R1 is going to get, get somewhat open against man-to-man, -man, as you can see right there. So, again, those are some ways you can beat man-to-man -man defense from the Arizona Cardinals playbook. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. And real quick, before I go, what I want to ask you to do is, if you've watched the video all the way through, I really appreciate it. And I really want to ask you, go ahead and join our Discord server. You won't regret it. It's an app that you can get on your phone, on your laptop, on your iPad, whatever. And it's basically where you can chat with everybody from our YouTube channel about Madden. So I'm trying to get that going, get as many people in there as possible. And once I get 100 people in that Discord server, I will be releasing a free offensive and defensive ebook in.